Hello, I'm Steve Siddall. Welcome to Behind the Curtain. Today we'll feature Next to Normal, a Pulitzer Prize winning musical, and we'll also talk to the star of the show, Raleigh native and Broadway actress Lauren Kennedy. The show is the story of what appears to be a typical American family, but we soon learn they are anything but normal. Mom struggles with bipolar disorder. And when you throw a powerful contemporary score along with it, you have a musical like few others. Next to Normal opens May 1st in Raleigh at the A.J. Fletcher Opera Theater in the Duke Energy Center. Lauren Kennedy stars as the mom. She's with us today. Lauren, dealing with bipolar disorder in a family hardly seems like the basis for a musical. <laughs> True, and a rock musical at that. Um, it's an incredibly um, wonderful dichotomy of rock music and incredibly heartfelt um, and difficult material. Um, and like you said, it is about a woman who is um, dealing with mental health issues. She's bipolar. She's been, you know, um, clinically depressed for 16 years and she's gone through m lots of medication. And, you know, it's really her journey trying to figure out how to heal herself and try to figure it out, you know, how to forget the past and not forget it, but honor it and move forward. And, um, you know, and how mental illness hurts a family and affects everyone. There's this, this trickle-down effect. So it's really, you know, it's not only her story, but it's about how she's affecting her daughter and her husband. And it's um, it's really, really beautiful. It's incredibly moving. Um, I would say, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, my God, that's so sad. And there are some moments that are sad and that I think everyone will see, oh, I know that person or that's how I feel sometimes and get moved. But it's really uplifting, ultimately, you know. I found it's it really interesting. a way to yeah, say again. You know, I found it interesting in that, in reading the synopsis, I started to realize, yeah, you're looking at this from the kid's point of view. And I think with mental health issues and, and bipolar and the like, I don't think we often see it from that perspective. Yeah, exactly. And understanding that it is an illness and that you know, sometimes people can't help it and they're doing everything they can. Um, but it's, so it's about having compassion, but also finding a way, you know, because it does affect children and it does affect partners. And um, it's an, I'm... I imagine it's incredibly difficult to navigate and manage for, for the people surrounding those who are suffering from bipolar or any kind of mental illness. Um, I know we all, and another thing too, is that I was getting ready to say, I know we all feel a little crazy sometimes. And the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, this woman has had a very traumatic event in her life, which I won't talk about because it's a spoiler alert, but, um, you know, she's had a very traumatic event. So it's really kind of like, would she have, you know, would this have tripped her? Would something else have tripped her? Or is, was it this event that sent her down this path of um, coping and unhealthily coping? And it's got to be draining for you to, to do this every day, huh? Oh, yeah. It's emotionally draining. <laughs> and I have to come home every night and be a mom. So it's, um, you know, it's uh, incredibly uh, cathartic in one way. I get to get a lot of stuff out. And uh, so that's kind of fun and interesting in its own strange way. It's also exhausting. I, I mean, I don't remember the last time I went to sleep at 10 o'clock, but that is what I've been doing during these rehearsals. And th so, but this particular run of the show in Raleigh is unique in that you're working together with some, some uh, mental health nonprofits to sort of help get the message out and, and yes. really spread the word. That's right. Um, well, as you know, it's Mental uh, Health Month. And so the North Carolina Theater has been very proactive about making sure as many people get to see this show. Because I think we feel it's an important show for everyone to see. Um, we did a design a run-through for the staff of the theater and all the creatives. And, you know, people came by and they were just really taken with how important it is for everybody to see this. So, you know, we're really definitely hoping to get the word out to those um, nonprofits and work with them to make sure that, Everyone not only like needs to see it, but um, it is actually um, an entertainment as well. There is some really fun, like I said, fun rock music. The way her imagination spins into these fantasies, too, is really fun and very delightful and very funny, actually. You know, I mean, I don't know if you've ever known anybody who's bipolar, but they're, you know, the highs are real high and the lows are real low. So there's some really fun, exuberant, great parts, too. <laughs> sure. And how's the rest of the cast? Does everybody I mean, have to? Yeah, it, it must be. I, I just get the sense that this is just this big family. I know that's how you become, yeah. right? Well, that's what happens. I mean, you know, in any good any good show where you're working with people this tightly, everybody gets really close. This particular group, even more so because we're laying our souls out there on the line, 
Um, but we have a great cast. Um, a girl, English Bernhardt, who's from Raleigh, went to Ravenscroft, graduated last year. She's playing my daughter. She just moved to New York and is already on her way to stardom. And um, actually, my boyfriend, Charlie, is playing the doctor in the show, so that's really fun for us to get to work together. And and then another great guy I've worked with named Charlie Powell is playing my husband. Uh, this kid, Ben Fankhauser, who's literally the most amazing musician I've ever heard, is playing um, Natalie's boyfriend. And um, a guy named Mike Schwitter is playing um, Gabe. And it's just an incredible group of people. We love being around each other. We revel in each other's talent. And, you know, it's just really, really fun. Well, this, I mean, you've had certainly some, some great success in New York and Spamalot and, and Les Mis, and, and so I, this has to be sort of a, a fun homecoming, kind of? Sure. I mean, I run my own theater here, too, so I'm, um, I, I don't perform as much as I used to. I only, you know, come out and do it when the role is worth it, and this was certainly worth it. And, yeah, it is the theater I grew up in. I cut my teeth being a performer at the North Carolina Theater. I've been doing shows there since I was seven, so it's like a family affair <laughs> for sure <laughs> so tell me again when is the show what's the run of the show um it opens may 1st and runs through may 10th and and where do we get tickets any just you the normal get tickets places at ticketmaster.com or go to north carolina theater i think it's nctheater.com and um we have you know 10 shows that you can come see check us out on twitter facebook and all that social media hoopla um, it's a really important thing for everybody to see and experience. And so I, I read that there's actually going to be some some before and after sessions, if you will, mm-hmm. with, with some of the nonprofits to, to deal that's with right. that. That's right. We're going to do some talk facts. And I think that's interesting for anybody who's just interested in the mental health or just people who are interested in theater and how a show is put together. And, you know, if you're interested in talking to the actors after shows, I think that's always a really fun way to... Um, add to this uh, theater going experience. Yeah, that's a, that's a great opportunity for folks to to one to really get the the other side of the of the story mm-hmm. and, and the story that you're telling and, and an yeah. important one it is. Exactly, in the backstage sort of scene as well. So we're at the AJ Fletcher Opera Theater May first to the tenth, and I'm sure on the website it says what days we're doing these top bags. Okay, so sure, and so yeah, opening night May first runs through the tenth, and plenty of tickets available, and and uh, so get out and see the show. I believe so. Yeah, I think we have about four shows that are almost sold out already. Oh, so no kidding. Hey, Lauren, thanks so much. I really appreciate your time today. It's been fun My to talk pleasure. with you. My pleasure. You too. Thanks for having me. Thanks again to Lauren Kennedy. She's starring in Next to Normal. It opens May 1st, runs through the 10th at the A.J. Fletcher Opera Theater in the Duke Energy Center. To learn more, visit nctheater.com. That's it for this edition of Behind the Curtain. I'm Steve Siddall.